Gardeners. This is Gardening with Mel and I'm just showing you a really quick video. I have some onions, well they were green onions that I planted a few years ago that have finally gone to seed and what I'm planning on doing today is collecting the seeds so that we can plant more green onions and as you can see the flower is turning brown and it has already fallen over um, so now it's time to harvest the seeds I also have another one up here just the same so what I'm going to do is collect the seeds in a Ziploc bag plastic Ziploc bag I'm gonna cut the flower off and let it fall inside of the bag and we're gonna just let those seeds kind of fall off the flower into the bag. Okay, so I'm trying to do this with one hand and I may have to put the video on hold or put it down and clip the flowers and just show you. But I'm going to put the bag underneath the flower like this and then I'm going to clip the flower so it falls into the bag. So we're gonna come right back and I'll show you what it looks like inside of the bag. I have clipped the flowers. They are inside of the bag. So now when I shake it, any seeds that are on there are gonna fall into the bag. And then we can use those and plant those later. Um, I'm probably gonna plant some in the greenhouse just to go ahead and get them started. And then I can replant those uh, in the particular spot. Now the plants or the green onions that I have um, in the ground I'm going to need to pull those up because they have flowered and they're probably not going to be as good so I'm going to end up pulling those out and we're just going to basically start over with some new fresh um, green onions just that I'm going to transplant once I get them started in the greenhouse and we'll replant them uh, out here in this spot okay so I'll show you what it looks like after I pull up the old uh, green onions out of the soil okay I have pulled the green onions um, that had been there for two years that they were actually store-bought green onions that I had planted uh, in that in those spots and I pulled them up and I discarded them um, because they won't be um, as good because they had gotten so large and they become woody so when they get like that and they start to flower and bolt um, that means you know it's pretty much to the end of its cycle um, so this is what it looks like after I pulled it up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start those seeds from the flower that I had pulled and we're going to start them in the greenhouse and we're gonna get some more uh, green onions started that way so we have some never-ending green onions uh, and then I also have some more um, green onions on this end but these haven't flowered yet um, so I have pretty much can still maybe use these um, they're pretty large I planted these um, last year so this is their um, second season um, these two green onions that I bought from the store started them in a little jar let the roots kind of take and then I planted them out here um, and these are doing pretty good so sometimes I'll just come out and I'll cut off one of the little stems and chop up some green onions and some of my breakfast eggs or whatever recipes call for green onions um, so we'll just have never-ending green onions so that's how you um, start your green onions so you just have never-ending green onions so when you go to the store and get your green onions keep those bottom parts the white parts that you cut off and usually throw away keep it throw it in a jar of water let it root some more once it roots a little bit get a little strong in the water plant it in the soil never-ending green onions if you found this video helpful go ahead like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching gardening with Mel your soil leaf stuff.